Yesterday I was a child out in the fields running wild Drawing patterns in the sand Never finding time to understand Ooh, What have I thrown away this time? Have I thrown away this time? There's no feeling for innocence. It gets torn down like a stupid fence. She's left, she's gone. Now the days are long. I sit around singing sad old songs. What have I thrown away this time? Ooh, what have I thrown away this time? John and I run multi-day sailing cruises on this boat on the way. Um, I've been doing that for 12 years now. Um, so yeah, I just take people sailing for three days at a time and sort of hold it over the three days apart from having a good time there also, you know, get a greater awareness and appreciation of the marine environment. Um, I'm a ranger by trade and I'm also a master student in marine science and uh, um, I focus on a whale species called the false killer whale that we occasionally see out here and that's sort of the um, focus of my study at the moment. Cool. Uh, I think I think mostly the snapper stocks you know, have decreased uh, quite noticeably as there's fewer of them and, and I think what's more is that they're smaller now, you know, so it's sort of sort of really the beginning of the end, you yeah. know, where, you know, there still seems to be a reasonable number of them but, but the ones we're getting are smaller and smaller so it's uh, it's a slippery slope. Yeah. So, and um, and why is that? Do you think? In the Bay of Islands, I think it's mostly the recreational take. You know, because um, I think ninety something percent of fish caught in the Bay of Islands are recreational take, and um, and there's just not enough fish to go around. You know, there's more people catching fewer fish every year. So aside from um, marine reserves, particularly, what do you think? What else can be done, kind of, to keep the keep the stocks up? Well, there is a number of things you can do, you know, it depends on what level, you know, you you sort of, you know, talking about, but really it's, you know, the bottom line is just catch less fish, you know, so I think, you know, an important thing is really not just the minimum size, but also the maximum size. And they started doing that now on the South Island with blue cod, you know, where the numbers are so low that, um, that they had to do that, I think you only have about a three or four centimeter window down there now for, for you know, fish you can take. and. Um, and also the other thing is the bag limits, you know, they're, they're just far too lenient in New Zealand. I mean, nobody, nobody needs to catch 25 fish a day, mm. you know, and, and the reality is too that people don't eat them, you know, people like to catch fresh fish and they get a little bit carried away, they eat two or three or four, they might give one away, but mm. half of them end up in the freezer mm. and realistically speaking end up as pet food and it's just a crying shame really. Why should the big snappers be thrown back? Well, mostly for two reasons really. It's just you need big fish to make big fish. So that's you know that's a, that's probably the most important thing is that by taking away the big fish, you're depleting the gene pool, and you're effectively creating a pygmy race. So basically, the fish you're left with just will not get that big anymore. Um, the other reason is also that um, big fish basically are much better at spawning than smaller fish. So so for example, a ten pound snapper will spawn more than twice as much as two five pound snapper, if that makes sense. So you know, so you really need the big fish to produce big fish, but also to produce more fish. So that's really probably in a nutshell the most important thing. It's, it's really important to note though that while we talk about cray and snapper as the indicators, what we're actually talking about is biodiversity. Yeah. So you're, you're so, so, and that's what we've 
continually try and come back to it's not about saving those particular species it's about having the a full and naturally balanced ecosystem which which we don't have anymore yeah. due to there being no kelp forest which is where they all hide out all the the, the wee guys hide out um and so you've taken out the bottom of the um the bottom of the ecosystem and the top yeah. so you're not it's not um it's not as simple as now is that we basically don't know enough about ecosystem complexity to Absolutely. really tackle one thing at a time. So what we've learned, if we sort of protect the whole diversity, then that it sorts itself out. You know, and that's really why marine reserves are you know, a very good tool. And it gives you a, a baseline then for yeah. the future to, um, for us to then understand more about how those ecosystems work. Yeah. So we know what, what's natural and what we need to do. And, and um, it, gives you, it gives you a baseline that currently we don't have. And um, none of the quota uh, management system, uh, the quota management system, isn't based on a. Um, on biodiversity. On, on no, it's and it's not. It's <coughs> not. God, there's no baseline data. It's. It's a. You know. It's a guesstimate. Yeah. It's a. It's a. It's a. Not even very well educated guessing game. Yeah. Really. <laughs> so that one of our. Um, one of the guys in our team says that fishing is um, one big uncontrolled experiment. Um, that doesn't go down very well, but... No. And that's true, and the, and the sad thing is with fish stocks, I mean, we, we've learned that from the North Atlantic, is, you know, if you, if you um, overstep that threshold, they don't come back. Peter Clark, Hapu Ingoa. Um, te kapatai te hapu, ko Waikari te awa, ko Kapawai te maunga, um, uh, ko fiti te tūpuna nui. Oh, I see our role as the local um, hapu, it's our role here, so we're the kaitiaki, we're, it's our duty really, it's our, our life to look after it, that's what we're here for really. Um, but up until now, we have not really had much say, like it's just all gone through the Ministry of Fisheries mm. and through the government and they haven't really listened to anybody here the locals of what we've had to say. Oh, I think we need to close off areas to let them recuperate and recover and reproduce. So they've got they've got somewhere to go, somewhere they can they can live and, and breed. Yeah. There's a lot of people that are out of touch and they sort of still think it's like it was in the sixties. Oh you jump in the boat and you go out and catch all these fish that are swimming around down there but they don't realise how much it's been depleted in the last, even the last 10 years or so. Mm. It horrifies me when I see heaps of boats sitting out in the middle of the bay in October, November and spawning season, catching all these fish that are spawning. I think that's criminal. <laughs> it's irresponsible to say the least. But hey, we just can't seem to interest the Ministry of fisheries into doing anything because according to their quota system everything's hunky-dory, nothing's a problem. By the 80s the fishing was in decline I have to say. Yeah by the 80s and since then it's just gone to pot quite frankly. Yeah as far as I'm concerned there's no fish left. There is no comparison and unfortunately a lot of people haven't been in the bay long enough to set a standard. My standard goes back to the 1930s when I actually can remember as a kid I'd be in my about 10 or 11 and we often used to go out in the bay and the fish were always there, always there. You cannot, you cannot bring things back to its original state unless you do something really really drastic and I believe that there are some people actually catch these little demoiselles and sell them overseas. I didn't know that before. So there has to be some really strong laws, but I can't see anyone being brave enough to do it. I can't see it happening, so uh, yeah, I sort of feel, thank goodness I haven't got long for this world to see <laughs> it get worse. Yeah, but hopefully our, our young generation, when they go to Lee, uh, I'm quite impressed with how they listen and how they understand the need for conservation, so th that's our hope that these kids will grow up with, with good practices and 
in mind. Yeah.